Hi, I'm Pat from youlearnoffice.com with a small presentation on Goal Seek. At times you want to find a quickly an answer to a what if question, like the model I have here. Now, if you look at the sales I have here, in D19, I have the sum total of the profits for the last three months. And in B21, I have the growth rate for those three months. So February is 25% bigger than January and March is 25% bigger than February. That's the growth rate month per month. And the total is $40,000. But what I want to find out is now I have a total of $40,000. What is the growth rate I need to get $50,000 after three months? And that's where we're going to use Goal Seek. So first you have to go under the data table and you'll find under the what if analysis three tools, scenario manager, goal seek and data table. We're going to use goal seek at this time. And there are three cells you need to enter some data. First of all is the set cell. What is the cell where you want to see the result? That would be D19. What is the value you want in that cell? Well, at this time that would be 50,000. That's the result I want. And I'm only going to put in the raw number, no spaces or fancy dollar sign or anything else, just the raw number. And the third cell is the cell I allow Excel to change to get that result. So in this case, it would be the growth rate or B21. Don't worry about the dollar signs. Either you write in B21 or $B21 will give out the same answer. So I press OK. And there's the answer. The target value was 50,000. The value Excel was able to find is also 50,000. Now there are times the way your model is created, you can't reach your goal because there are other conditions that apply that would limit that possibility. The goal seek will try to get as close as possible to that goal. In this particular case, there are no obstacles that would block you from reaching the goal. So I'll press OK to keep the answers and what I actually need is a growth rate of 50% month over month to get 50,000. Now there are two things you should know about Goal Seek. First of all, you cannot change the content of two or three cells, just one. That's the limit of Goal Seek. If you want to be able to change many cells, there are two other tools you can use either scenario manager where you put in the values you want or there's a solver where you want to optimize your model so that's it for goal seek i hope you try it out